Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. They shall not make bonus upon their head. So this is the saying the same thing as round the corner of your head, but it's more plain. It said they shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Israelite man, we're not supposed to take a razor to our head and shave our head bald like Michael Jordan. Right. Like uh, Tyrese and all of that. Huh? Okay. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So it says neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. As an Israelite man, we're supposed to let our beard grow. That's right. Like what, like what you have right now, you done cut into your beard. You done cut into your natural lining. That would be breaking the commandments. What's your nationality? The Pentecostal. So Pentecostal is a nation, or is that a religion? I ain't here for trick questions. Bro. No, I'm not, I'm not asking the question. I said, what's your nationality? Oh, my, na my nationality? Yeah, your nationality. African American. So, so, so based on that, your your church is not teaching the same thing. That's right. Because what we're teaching is that you are an Israelite, That's according right. to the Bible. That's right. And that as an Israelite, you must keep God's commandments. He's right. big on that. He just went there. Him and his wife just. He's big on what? Israelite, like the Bible, all that. He was but, there last month. Uh huh. So, so you're an Israelite. Has he told you that you're an Israelite? I'm not Israelite. But you go to a church. No. You go to his church. I'm trying to answer your first question. Go ahead. So your first question is in my Israelite. Uh-huh. My Israelite. Okay. But I go to his church and he teaches the Israelite because that's, that's, that's uh, the most not watered down part of the Bible. I'm still learning all this. Okay. okay. How long have you been going to the church? I've been going to church. I've been going to church since I was born. I'm saying, how, how long have you been going to this particular church? That you, 11 years. 11 years. So 11 years you've been going to this church, and you say he teaches similar what we teach. He teaches, you said he te I think earlier you said he teach out of Israelite Bible. So, so listen to this. I think he read it already, but I'm going to read it again, because if you're being, t if, if we have the same doctrine, when I ask you what's your nationality, because if I ask each, every one of these men here, if I ask them their nationality, you know what they're going to say? I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Or my brother over here, he gonna say I'm an Israelite from the I mean, tribe of Issachar. That's a setup situation. That's a na that's that's na no. That's our nationality. That's, that's not a setup. That's a setup. Y'all already had that set up though. We don't have that set up. I just parked my We don't. Car. But no, no, we don't. The thing about it is, I think he mentioned it earlier. All of us have known each other for probably what two, three, four, five years. Right, right. We didn't grow up together. Right. But what, what thing that brought, the thing that brought us to, no, the thing that brought us together is the Bible. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, we didn't, we didn't come together and say, hey, you gonna say you an Israelite? You gonna say you an Israelite? No, we understand the Bible. The Bible has taught us. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But, but years in what? But I'm saying, years in what? Because, because we're teaching the Bible. And you just said, you said earlier that your church teaches this, a similar thing that we, or to what we teach. But yet what we teach, all of us are agreeing based on what we read, what we have been taught out of the Bible. So for, uh, for, your, for you to say that you've been taught the same thing, you would say the same thing that we saying. Not based on you knowing us a long time, but based on the teaching that you've been receiving. But look, listen, listen to this real quick. Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass. So first. The book of Deuteronomy, who wrote it? Do you know? And let's, yeah, who wrote Deuteronomy? Israelites. Let's get 27 and 1 real quick. It's written by an Israelite, that's correct. But let's get, let's get just specific. What Israelite wrote the, book, wrote the book of Deuteronomy? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27 and verse 1. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people. So it says Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people. So Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy and he gave it to the nation of Israel That's as right. it was instructed to him by, of him by God. Go back to 28 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord 
not God. So Moses told the Israelites, if you will not hearken, meaning if you will not listen attentively to the voice of the Lord God, read, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he said, if you, if you don't keep the instructions that God gave us, that curse is going to come upon you. A curse is a good thing or a bad thing? What is, is it a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So, so with that, so he's telling the Israelites, a curse, you're going to be cursed. That's a bad thing. You know, you're gonna, bad things are going to happen to you when you don't keep the instructions that God gave unto you. Jump to verse 37 real quick. Verse 37. Right, but the thing about it, if you, if you read the same parts of the book, like the script, the script, let, let me finish. I don't want to jump. I don't want to jump up. Right on what y'all do, but like, like he reads almost the same parts as the book. That's what I'm saying. But, he but don't water it down. Like he don't. If he don't, the thing about it, if he don't water it down, he's gonna teach you. When, when you say, when somebody say, "What's your nationality?" You're gonna know. I'm an Israelite. That's, That's right. when you teach. Yeah. When you teach them the, the Bible, not watered down, you're gonna know. Okay, I'm an Israelite, and I'm supposed to keep the commandments. That's I'm an right. Israelite man, and I'm supposed to have my beard on my face. Right. I'm an Israelite man, and I'm supposed to have fringes on. I'm an Israelite man, and I'm supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy, like he was bringing out. That's it. So those are the things. If we te if you're teaching the Bible watered down, the people that's following you are going to know what commandments they're supposed to teach. They're going to know their nationality. But read 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And I think he just he just read this scripture as well. So it says you're gonna become a proverb and astonishment, and it says you're gonna become a byword. That's right. What is a byword? So he said you know, one of the curses that we're gonna be a byword. A byword. What he was bringing about us calling ourselves African American. Right. That's not a nationality. Our nationality changes every 10 years. Right. We done been colored, we done been black, we done been Negro, Afro-American. We done had all these different nationalities, but yet they, you, cannot, you cannot look on a map and find a land of black. Yes. African-American is the name of two white men. That's right. Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Teach. For one, can two men make a baby? Hell no. But yet we call ourselves after two different white men. That's right. Let alone two, two, a, a white, a white couple can't make a black baby. Right. But yet we walk around calling ourselves African American. So that lets us know that this Bible is talking about us. Because you ask any any nation on this earth, hey, what's your what's your national origin? Oh, you ask a white man, oh, I'm a, I'm a German. My grandfather from da, 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 da. they're gonna be able to go lay that lay out their whole nationality. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm a Russian. My father's. They're gonna be able to tell you all that. But us, for most, for the most part, most of us, the furthest back in our history can go is slavery. Right. When our history is faster than that, like all of these things on the side, and these things happen to us because we broke God's commandments. Right. So, then get uh, Leviticus 19. What you got right? There? Get Leviticus 19 and 27 real quick, because this is one of the laws. Because when, when, if we teaching the same thing, if somebody's teaching the same thing as us, they're going to be teaching the commandments as it is written. That's right. Read. And that's so when you're teaching the commandments as it is written and not watered down, that means that our people are going to know the laws. They're going to know that they're supposed to be keeping God's laws. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So it says that you should not, you should not round the corners of your heads. What That's do you think right. that means? I'm going to explain a little more. Okay. My brother, what's your name? Me. Me. Yeah. Mr. Strong. Mr. Strong. What do, what do you think it means to not round the corner of your head? It means a couple things. Though. As far as how y'all talking, I'm, I'm figuring it means like not to be set or be boxed in, always have a a broad array. Cause that's how no. I am when I walk this house. Just talk to I got I got a lot of questions. Y'all. So it's not. So it's not, it's not going to that. But read it. Read on. Read it again. Now actually, you know what? Read twenty one and five. Cause I want I want the Bible. 
I'm gonna read another verse where it's just plain. It says it plain as day. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So this is saying the same thing as round the corner of your head, but it's more plain. It said they shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Israelite man, we're not supposed to take a razor to our head and shave our head bald like Michael Jordan. Right. Like uh, Tyrese and all of that. Huh? Okay. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So it says neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. As an Israelite man, we're supposed to let our beard grow. That's right. Like what, like what you have right now, you done cut into your beard. You done cut into your natural lining. That would be breaking the commandments. If you don't cut it though, you gonna get down to the floor with your beard. Bro. No, you can trim it. You can keep it cut low. Like a lot of, like his, his is trimmed a little low. I used to trim man low. Like the, 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 like the beard that you do have, the length, that's fine. You can, you can trim it low. I fight for a little bit. My stuff, I ball, I get bumps and everything. So, so I the, keep it low. Why do you think you get them bumps? Bring it out! I'm saying, why do you think you get them? No, we not out here to shame or nothing. We out here to, our, our goal is to teach. No, but this is the thing. If, if I don't have a picture here right now, but you can shave your, you can shave it down. Like, when they say, you should not cut the corner, like how you see how my beard, it goes all the way to my neck. How all of our beards go all the way down to our neck. But, and I'm gonna say it off the mic because I don't want you to make it. I don't want. I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to embarrass you. How I'm your beard up under I'm, here? I'm no, I'm saying I, I want you to. I want you to get. But like how you got under here, you got it shaved off. You're supposed to let that grow because that's your full beard. That's the but the thing, yeah, that's the scene. Because look, listen to it again. Read. They shall not make baldness upon their head, uh -huh. neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So the Bible lets us know we're not supposed to shave off the corner of our beard. Huh? Read it again. Read the, uh, no, no, read it with the reference. I believe, I believe no, I'm saying, he gonna, I'm, I want him to read the reference. That's Leviticus 19 and 27. No, this is what we're reading right now is 21 and 5. Right. Leviticus chapter 21 and 5. That's right. So as, as men, now, it ain't saying you don't have to grow your beard all the way down to your knees. Ain't nothing wrong if you do. If you, if, hey, if you want to grow your beard and it grow all the way to the middle of your neck, that's, I mean, to the middle of your chest, that's fine. Right. If like you say you're a boxer, you can't, you know what I'm saying, you can shave it down low and keep it like, like how, you, how you have what the, the beard that you still have, you got it cut down low, you can keep it cut down low, but let it grow all, the, your full beard, the whole, it goes all the way up. You keep it neat. You can keep it neat like, like my beard. My beard is full. I keep it neat. Like even now you can see I haven't I haven't trimmed it in a while. You can kind of see where where it fully grows. But you can keep it trimmed and neat. But as far as cutting into it, no, you're not supposed to do that. That's why I said no, don't cut in the corner of your beard. The corner of your beard is You got Leviticus 19 and 27 and Leviticus 21 and 5. So that's that, and that's one of the give First Corinthians chapter one and verse ten. Because the thing about it, anybody that has this Bible, and they're not teaching us the commandments, they're not teaching the unadulterated Bible. They're teaching the, the precepts of men. They're teaching a watered down version of the Bible because they're not showing you what you're supposed to be doing. Because a lot of people, a lot of people with the Bible, they'll say, "Yeah, the Israelites was black." Yada yada yada. But if they're not showing us that we are the Israelites and that we got to keep the commandments, they're leading us into a ditch. That's right. And that's, that's, the, that's why our communities is like they is. Because our, our young men, our, our sisters, we have not been taught God's laws. Right. The, the solution to our problems, the problems in our community is God's laws. When we start applying God's laws, that's what's going to fix our communities. That's what's going to eliminate the single parent households. That's what's going to eliminate our young men shooting and robbing and stealing, killing from each other. Right. Read that. The book of First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you. But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 
so if we uh, so the Bible commands us to speak the same thing. So if anybody, if anybody say, okay, I'm an Israelite and I'm keeping the commandments, we all should be saying the same thing. That's right. We all should be. So when I when I see you and you say you you say you heard this before, you say you were an Israelite and you've been learning from somebody else, I should look at you and be able to see, okay, he keeping the commandments. He got his beard. He got his fringes on. Uh, he he going to he keeping the Sabbath holy. He keeping the feast days. We should be able to speak the same thing. But if not, we're not teaching. I know. I didn't say you said that. I didn't say you said that. But you said the church that you go to, he teaches the similar things. Similar is the same. Similar is the same. So with that, it's like okay, if he teaches the same thing, he's supposed to. Cause that's no different. Cause really, he may say that he, he may say okay, I'm teaching out an Israelite Bible. He may say. Blacks are Israelites. He may say Christ is a black man, but the thing about it is, okay, what what are you what instructions are you giving the people right. that they must do to get the kingdom? Because otherwise, you ain't no different. You no different than the Christian church, because we we all probably grew, we grew up in Christianity and in Christianity, like I was in Christianity. I used to shave my beard off. Never even heard it. In the, never heard it once in a Christian church that I wasn't supposed to shave my beard. But then when I started learning as an Israelite, I learned. Okay, I didn't even know that was in the Bible. But I've been I've been reading this Bible all this time, and going to church all this time. But nobody never told me that I wasn't supposed to cut my beard. Right. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.